Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ayub Zumit, and I'm a PhD student from University of Glasgow in UK. Uh, in this presentation, I will be covering on silicon nanorubin based printed field effect transistor uh, using a room temperature deposited dielectric for high performance applications. So in this talk, and I'll be uh, I'll I'll give you an overview of the motivation behind my work in regards to the recent emerging uh, electronics and applications, and the materials which can be considered to meet the high performance requirement for flexible electronics. And then I'm going to talk about the printed uh, the printing technique which we used in this work, followed by a detailed overview of the fabrication steps, and the structural characterization of the fabricated transistor. Then I will demonstrate the electrical characterization followed by the electrical mechanical performance evaluation, and finally, over, uh, overall summary of this talk. So the recent uh, progress uh, in the flexible electronics opened up uh, the route for advancements in many emerging applications, such as wearable electronics, robotics, prosthetics, implanted devices, uh, as well as the wireless power transmissions and epidermal electronics, etc. Many of these applications would require a high performance like uh, fast computation and communication. For instance, high speed switching and large drive current are needed in applications uh, such as flexible mobile phones. Uh, likewise, uh, what is communication in medical healthcare systems and or Internet of Things application would require switching in ultra high uh, frequencies. So, however, uh, realizing such a device and say it's on a flexible substrate, with a, with a performance at par with the silicon CMOS technology is a challenge because of the requirements of the high temperature processes in the conventional inorganic semiconductor processing. So the electrical performance of the, the electrical performance of the flexible transistor uh, is mainly based on the material uh, on the material uh, property. So therefore the, the material, for example, the material mobility is very important since the mobility of the trans uh, of a flexible transistor gains a significant interest since uh, it influences several uh, performance parameters such as the, the current density, the energy efficiency, the switching speed, uh, the cutoff frequency, etc. These are critical parameters for uh, realizing uh, a high speed, a high performance flexible electronics. So in this regard, uh, printed, device and, uh, printed devices based on nanostructures of high mobility materials such as silicon uh, uh, such as silicon uh, compound semiconductors, carbon nanotube, graphene have been explored and opened interesting pathway to meet the high performance requirements for flexible electronics. In this work, we use a single crystalline silicon based nano uh, ribbon. Since the mobility of this structure can be retained, uh, can be retained after transferring them uh, on a flexible substrate. So uh, they can be processed with a conventional CMOS process to develop a high performance devices. So in terms of the material printing, uh, the transfer printing technique we use, uh, that we use in this work uh, allows the, uh, the nanorubin to be transferred from the donor, uh, from the donor uh, wafer to the, receiver, uh, sub, to the receiver substrate in highly yield manner. So this method provides a promising solution to fabricate the bendable electronics devices using a, semi, uh, using a semiconductor inorganic uh, micro nanostructures such as, such as nano ribbons, nano wires, etc. Ma the major challenge, a major challenge with the nanostructure based devices is that some of the critical fabrication steps, for instance, doping high K dielectric deposition, these steps require a high temperatures that are inc incompatible with the flexible substrates. Therefore, it's important to develop, uh, to develop uh, device fabrication strategies such as such that all the fabrication steps are carried out at low temperature. At low temperature. So, um, so here, since the high temperature fabrication steps are carried out before the transfer printing, the, uh, this method we use decouples the high temperature process steps from the low temperature steps. And all the steps that are carried out after, uh, after transfer printing to, re to realize a, a, a device on flexible substrate as shown in this figure. Also, this table uh, includes a comparison of silicon nano uh, uh, transistors uh, with the performance in terms of the on and off ratio and the mobility 
with the various uh, the electric deposited at low temperatures. The previous work have carried out most of the steps before transfer printing, uh, including the high temperature dielectric deposition, which uh, lead to good device characteristics. However, transfer printing of such a fully formed transistor could raise at uh, extra technology cost, since it requires a custom-made SOI, uh, SOI wafer uh, with the specific orientation uh, of the base layer which in gen uh, general uh, costs even higher than commercial uh, SOI wafer. And, and for, the <clears throat> for this work, we use the silicon nitride deposited as a gate dielectric deposit at room temperature using ICB CVD, which inductive coupled plasma chemical vapor deposition technique over the nano ribbon, so uh, on the flexible uh, substrate. So this step is advantageous compared to the other Te the traditional techniques for the high-k dielectric, such as atomic layer deposition, low-power chemical vapor deposition, etc. These uh, techniques could uh, use a high temperature. Uh, high temperature could reach to 300 degrees, from 100 to 300 degrees, or even 500 degrees Celsius. So, so here the high-k dielectric uh, deposits at room temperature silicon nitride keeps the transfer printing process highly robust and could also aid the fabrication of the transistor over a millimeter or centimeter scale uh, flexible substrate as it's uh, compatible with the method such as a roll to roll uh, printing technology. In the next slide, I'm going to, uh, to present the fabrication steps uh, of this work. So here, this is the schematic uh, of, the pro processing, of the processing steps used to realize a device from silicon on oscillator and the source wafer consists of silicon active layer of 70 nanometer thick on top of two microns barrier oxide. So here the, the structure of the nano open were uh, defined by conventional lithography, UV lithography uh, followed by uh, plasma etching. So since the uh, Achieve, since the doping is difficult once this structure, uh, the nano structure are transferred to a flexible substrate because of the thermal uh, budget issues. So without heavy doping, it's, uh, it's kind of impossible to achieve dynamic com contact at the active region, so on drain. So the doping uh, was done on the native uh, wave on the native sub uh, substrates after depositing uh, the mask, uh, which uh, which we used uh, BE CVD silicon oxide as a mask during the doping process. Then etching uh, solution was used to release the silicon nano ribbon, followed by transfer printing. Of the uh, of the nano structure to the flexible substrate, uh, followed by uh, high K dielectric uh, silicon nitride film deposited using uh, inductive couple plasma, and uh, opening the active region of source and drain uh, by dry etching or of the dielectric layer, and finally the gate and source and drain contacts were deposited using uh, E beam evaporation method. So here the structural characterization of various stages of the of the tri fabricated transistor, including the, the several uh, few uh, micro uh, microscope images of the silicon nano open defined, defi defined over the native SOI wafer, followed by like silicon nano open with the with the active region source and drain, and the scanning electron microscopy of cross sectional image of the of the released nano open after removing the uh, the barrier oxide, and uh, which uh, allow the the <clears throat> The nano ribbon to be uh, suspended at uh, between the anchor points, and followed by the schematic uh, figure of the 2D cross-sectional structure, which shows the the structural dimension of the of the fabricated device. So, so in term uh, in term of the dielectric. Transfer printing, uh, after transfer printing introduced, uh, all the remaining steps are carried out after transfer printing. So the deposit, uh, we deposit the silicon nitride, the electric with the uh, with thickness of 100 nanometer. And uh, since the, the key factor is to, uh, to ensure the, the, the quality of the electric, the electric to be sufficient is uh, due to the internal stress due to uh, several factors. Which can be expressed as internal stress, chemical composition, surface roughness, interfacial, interfacial defects, etc. These factors are mostly influenced by their deposition technique. So, in this regard, the silicon nitride dielectric film was found to be uniform, um, uniform across the silicon, uh, across the nano ribbon uh, thickness, 
with a good surface adhesion. So the surface silicon nitride was analyzed by atomic, fo atomic force microscopy and the electric film was observed to be smooth and, it was, uh, and also with the high stoichiometry, which close to the uh, stoichiometry of the ideal silicon nitride, which is good enough for the electric, for the electric deposited at room temperature. Electrical characterization of the fabricated transistor uh, carried out directly on the planner and the bending conditions. And here the photograph of the of the uh, <clears throat> of the silicon nanorubin transistor arrays uh, on a flexible substrate attached over a PVC foil with a bent condition. So the device were attached on a 3D uh, printed convex as shown in Figure B. And the concave structure also for both with the radius cur of curvature of 49 or 40 millimeter. So here is scanning electromicroscope image of the of the device, marked with the mark the mark the device regions, the active region of the source and region also the gate, comprising 10 nanorubins as the active channel, and followed by a demonstration of the optical image of the array of transistors over over a flexible substrate. So, so the transfer, uh, so the the transfer and output characteristics of the device under bending and planning conditions are shown in this slide here. So it shows the plots of the output and transfer current voltage IV characteristics of the n-channel uh, nanorubin field effects transistor. Which um, so the transfer characteristics shows the measured input with 200 millivolt potential across their drain to source terminal. The saturation mobility recorded was 665. So with the mobility achieved at, in this range, uh, could be used for several applications uh, in flexible electronic circuits, such as inverters and uh, ring oscillators, active uh, tactile matrix for electron skin and etc. So this uh, here, the table shows a summary of the main parameters calculated based on, uh, on the obtained experimental results of the fabricated uh, transistors under planner and pinned conditions. So in terms of the electromechanical performance evaluation, the cycle bending impact of the performance of the device was also evaluated. The peak values of the drain current uh, were obtained under planner conditions after every 10 cycles of compressive and tensile bending. A total of 100 bending cycles were performed it, uh, so it, it can be observed that the device performance in terms of the drain current remains unchanged even after 10, even after 100 bending cycles with a negligible variation in the gate leakage current. The maximum gate leakage current density was, was about 10 picoampere per centimeter square at 4 volt. The breakdown field uh, strength of the dielectric leakage current of the strength of the dielectric was about 2.2 maximum volt per centimeter, which is excellent for a room temperature deposit at the gate electric. Here, I uh, also include a photograph of the nanorubin uh, transistor arrays on flexible substrates wrapped around uh, various uh, circular shaped objects. So, in conclusion, here we, uh, so we demonstrated the transfer printing, which shows a promising solution for flexible high performance uh, transistors fabricated directly on uh, flexible substrates. And uh, these uh, fabricated uh, devices, we uh, used uh, silicon, I uh, used uh, ICB, CVD dielectric device at room temperature, silicon nitride, which lead to device characteristics uh, above a bar with the various reported, uh, with various reported electric deposited at low temperature. So this developed process uh, is compatible, it's pretty much compatible with the CMOS technology and it could be used for for another uh, transistor based on, uh, based on another uh, high mobility materials, including in co uh, compound semiconductors such as gallium arsenide, indium arsenide, etc. So thank you very much. I would like to thank you. And uh, also I would like to, to, thank, uh, to thank the group I'm, that I'm in and thank you uh, for watching my presentation. And it has been a pleasure to, uh, to be a part and to share my work and to be a part of, uh, of this uh, virtualized uh, conference. And uh, <clears throat> last but not least, I would like to acknowledge also um, uh, the funder, Gender Support, 
and uh, the fabrication related support received from uh, James Watt Nano Fabrication Center at University of, uh, University of Glasgow. Thank you.